Welcome back, my friends. It is not every day you get to meet your heroes. How many of you recognize the name Charles Lindbergh? I know you do. Shake your head. Yep, up and down. We all have. This is a grandson, Eric Lindbergh, the legend, the legacy right here. And you might recognize a high school and the name behind me as well. I had the great opportunity to walk into this school. And for those of you who know me and Eric's learning right now, I was not a great student. But walking through this school, absolutely inspired. I want to go back to high school now. I want to be like Billy Madison and go back to school because this place is so incredible. <laughs> Eric, let's talk about what you're creating here. We talk about STEM a lot. We talk about even STEAM a lot, which brings in the arts as well. You've done something here in partnership that you want to take around the country. And we're in St. Louis right now. So let's talk about what's being built and the importance of what's being built here. Absolutely. Like you, Tony, I was I sucked at school. <laughs> Slightly below average. When I got to college, I had to pay for half my tuition, so I got B's. You know, I did better. It wasn't until I got to flight school that I really wanted it so badly that I got a four point. I got A's. And, it's, and it showed me that intrinsic motivation is the most important factor in, in education. So what we need to do today is, is meet kids where they're at, find their passion, and allow them to follow that because they're going to do the best at, the, at what the, you know, their life is for um, if they're motivated. And that's what we're doing in partnership with Lindbergh High School. This is so exciting. We've got this epic STEM challenge program where kids design, build, and fly, and break, and iterate, and fly again, and compete, and cooperate to build an electric airplane, fly it on a tether in a competition, and and those are our future um, workers of America, building and designing airplanes. Eric, you said it perfectly, you know, and I can only talk for myself, I won't speak for you. I, I, I don't want to talk about your schooling, <laughs> but I can talk about mine in the sense that I was never a memorize and repeat robotic type of person that wanted to sit into the desk. And you described this and said, everyone's personality is a little different, so we help them adapt to what the world is going to bring, you know, and STEM is science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and if we go with STEAM, you add arts into that as well. Yeah. Walking through here, there's about 2,300 students here, and what I was fascinated about was I asked the people in charge, and I said, how many are, are adapting to the STEM program? They said, everyone. In yeah. my time, it was a vocational choice where the misfits, you know who you are out there, the misfits <laughs> went into that because we couldn't get past our math or our sciences, so we went and fixed cars and things. But the world is changing so quickly, and it is how we connect with all things around us, and that's what your foundation is, is really creating here in St. Louis and beyond. Yeah, I think, it, you know, uh, inspiration is the most important thing we can have in our lives. If we're inspired, if we have hope for a future, then, then we're gonna make it. And I think we're surrounded by bad news. It's all around us in the world. If you pay attention to the news, it's, it's a bummer. But you know what's really cool? What's happening here at Lindbergh High School and over at the Yes Teens Program Center? Kids focusing and adults helping them to see this is a local, we can control our local environment and there's not that bad news. Every once in a while, sure, but you work through those hurdles and moving from this local space, this inspiration, we can grow, we can do anything in the world. We can become Charles Lindbergh or Neil Armstrong. We can walk on the moon. That's what Lindbergh High School is doing. That's what the YES program is doing at the Science Center. That's why I'm so excited. Shoot, I'd like to even just be Eric Lindbergh. You don't have to be <laughs> Charles Lindbergh. But thank you for providing hope. And I'm going to tell you a secret. Some of the best things I ever did was turn off the news about 20 years ago. That's right. Life became real yeah. positive. So for the people watching right now, we, we in our industry in manufacturing, we talk about STEM a lot. I mean, we stomp up and down like the nutty professor. Yes, I can. You know, just <laughs> like that. We stomp up and down and try to get the word out there. So I'm certain there's some educators out there. There's some storytellers out there watching right now that want to go, okay, we see it at Lindbergh, how can we adapt it in our communities? What's the best way to get in touch with you, to get involved and maybe incorporate these projects into their local high schools, middle schools? Because I know it's K through 12 in this area as well. <laughs> yeah, awesome question. You can go to our website, lindberghfoundation.org. Um, we're just incubating this program here in St. Louis. It's been running for quite a while in Seattle and the Pacific Northwest. Um, but this is really cool and we'd like to scale it. We'd like to bring it, this spirit of St. Louis, to the rest of the country and to France, to the rest of the world. Um, we've got to do that sort of one school at a time, one school district at a time, and then we can go regional. Um, 
it, it, the sky's no longer the limit, actually. And, you know, Tony, like you, I was kind of a below average student, but I was a maker. I like to make things. So I have a shop at home. I like to make sawdust in my spare time because it, it helps me. It's like therapy to me to make things. You get things done, you also break things. You cause problems, but you fix them. And that it's that iterative process, not only in school, but in life, that teaches us the most. Our failures are really, really important. We got to lean into those failures and go, what did I learn from that? Um, that's, that's just so important that people realize Charles Lindbergh didn't have an easy life. He had a lot of problems. He had a lot of failures. He was human. So am I. So are you. We've overcome those to, to reach a certain amount of, uh, you know, success in life. But life is hard. And if you're struggling out there, giving it, getting some hope inspiration from somebody, anybody, a mentor, um, that's so valuable. That's what's allowed us to become who we are. Yeah, very well said. Thank you for the hope today. Thank, Thank you, you for Tony. embodying the spirit of St. Louis as well. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on camera with MTDCNC. It's such a powerful message. Thank you all for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. This is my buddy, Eric Lindbergh, uh, now my new best friend. <laughs>